Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Dota of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a quick sort of mini haul. I went to Walmart to get my mom and I got a few things just to help me with my studies. Um, and then I purchased a few things. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick the things that I purchased through Amazon. Um, the first being a new selfie ring light. I'm actually using it so I have two right now. But um, it came in this box and it's just a selfie ring light. But it's not one of the little clip-ons like this. It's not one of these though. This is a good ring light. It's not one of these. It's actually, it looks like an actual professional ring light, but it's um, more of a selfie size. I don't know how to describe it, so I'll insert a picture here of what they look like. Um, I ordered one a few months back for work because I do makeup on the go, and then I decided to get a second one because I like to record videos, and I have it up going, so I'm loving them. I have one on cool and one on sort of an in-between cool warm setting, so I'm loving the way it's um, looking in the camera. I have this backdrop um, here, the glittery one. You, a lot of you guys love this one. I tried the lavender one, um, and I like it. It's just I have to keep ironing it, so I'm just going to stick to this glittery one. I really like it anyway. But, um, yeah, the first thing was this ring light. I bought a second one. Then I bought this for my desk because um, on my desk I had this little blue um, little container, and I hated it because there was nothing blue on my desk. My desk has green bins and purple bins um, with hints of white and pink every now and then so I wanted to get um, a pencil holder that would work to keep all of my highlighters and stuff so I ordered this off of Amazon it's the desk organizer from executive office solutions it looks like this but I have mines in white um, you guys will see it soon I'm gonna be doing a desk tour showing you guys how I have my desk set up um, it's a small desk in a room I do share with my son because I still do live at home with my mother but um, I'm making the best of it and um, it works wonders and I, I love the uh, pen, pen desk organizer. Um, the, the last thing I ordered was this here. It is a quick scripture reference for counseling expanded edition from John G. Cruis. Um, I was recommended this when I went to prayer school. The pastor that was preaching um, last Saturday when I went, um, he talked about having different types of books that have scripture references. This was a book he actually showed, so I opted to get it. And um, this has a good 200 and something pages, about 250 pages. Um, and there are just different things, and these are specifically for counseling. I'm trying to flip through it. So, um, like, you have subjects such as adultery, affliction, alcohol, anger, anxiety, assurance of salvation, drug abuse, eternal life, evil desires, faith in God, false prophets, homosexuality, hot temper, humility, contentment, um, youth, trust, trials, training, children, temptation, sexual impurity, sexual, sex life, self-pity, lying, marriage, mixed marriages, husband-wife relationships, imitating Jesus, um, your priorities, your pride, prayer, and things like that. Um, it's a good one. Um, it's not one that I specifically see myself consistently using but again this is for counseling they do have one for women um one for men and then one for youth i'm definitely thinking about getting the one for women there's one that my mom had um it's uh kingdom scripture keys for scripture kingdom keys or something like that um by june something and they no longer sell it um but they do have the ebook available on Amazon for six bucks. I think I'm gonna get that because I actually do love that one that my mom had. But I got this, it was like ten dollars and some change. So um yeah, it's from Baker Books. Next I have okay, so I went to Walmart because I needed a hole punch because I have a lot of these notes here. My church is currently studying um the book of Romans and they have actual study guides that they print out. And they give quizzes and stuff, and I haven't been able to go because my church is still in New York and we move and we live in Jersey. But I'll be going next week for um, class. But um, I have a lot of these, and I wanted to punch holes in them, but I don't have a hole puncher. I mean, I have one, but it's one of the like single hand hole punchers, and I'm not about to just spend my life doing this. So I went to Rite Aid because Rite Aid is up the block. They had a hole punch, but they went at like ten dollars, and it wasn't like one of them sturdy ones. It was one of the cheap, clumsy ones. I wasn't gonna spend that kind of money, so I was like, "Let me go to Walmart." So my mom had to day off. Um, we went, and I found the desktop punch Precision Pro. It takes up to ten sheets capacity and has two to three adjustment levels, I guess. Um, it looks like this. And you guys, this is the type of hole punch that I needed. It's sturdy and everything, and this was less than one at Rite Aid. It was only seven dollars. 
sorry. <laughs> but uh, here it goes. It looks just like this. And this is exactly what I needed for my um, hole punch. So I got this one. And then because I have so many notes to um, hole punch, I don't want to stick them in just my regular binder where my other study notes are. So I picked up another binder, of course. This is from Pink Chandelier. I think I hauled a few of their items before. I love Pink Chandelier. Um, it's the pink light designs. If you go into the binder section in Walmart, you're going to see like a whole bunch of pretty binders and stuff. It's from Pink Light Designs. I got another one. This one is pink with gold foil, and it's like the Army Fatigue one. They had a blue one. I was going to get it, but I just fell in love with the pink one, so I got the pink one. So that's where all of my notes are going to go once I hole punch them. Then I bought sticky notes because I went sticky note crazy. So these are the really, really large post-it notes here. Um, I've been looking for these for a minute. Since. I don't know where my other ones are. Let me try to grab those quickly. Um, they're right here under my feet. I don't know which side they're on, though. Because I have so many post-its, it's ridiculous. They're here somewhere. Okay, I think this is one of them. Yes. So, I... I had wanted the really, really large ones, but I couldn't find them at Walgreens or Rite Aid. I only saw these, which are, I think, the 4x4s. Um, and I know that Tanya M. Andrews on Instagram, sorry, her, on Instagram, she uses these a lot and puts them, inserts them inside of her Bible. And I finally found them at Walmart today. So I got the super large one. These are the 5x8 ones. Um, so I got this one that comes with blue and green, and then this one that comes with the orange and pink to go into my bible when I'm doing my notes um, and those were like $4.97 so $5 which is not bad it's like $2.50 per post-it which is good um, and then I got more of these little cute ones because I have this coffee cup one it looks like that and this cute little owl and I use them a lot in my bible studies that I do um, in the Facebook group so I had these two, so I was like, you know what, I need more because they're really cute and they're really good with um, their sticky ability. So I got this one here, which is literally just the poop symbol or the poop emoji. So freaking cute though, isn't it? It's the poop emoji, but it's like purple. Pay me no mind. I don't know why I got that one. Then I have this one, which is the um, kissy face. This donut. And then I got these two, uh, which are three packs, and um, I'm going to open it. So this first one looks like that. So um, this first one has this kind of arrow. This feather. And then a tent. I'm actually going to give the tent to my mom, and I'm just going to keep these two, because they're super cute, of course. And then this last one is more summer themed so you have a flamingo you have a pineapple and then the cactus which I'm gonna give to my mother so I thought that was pretty cool and um was that everything that I got I think that was everything that I got it's a really really short haul nothing crazy um I do have my book haul coming you guys know I do my book hauls um the beginning of the first month the beginning of the new month to show you guys what I got from the previous month so the book haul for March will be up in April because I'm still waiting on a few more items to ho hopefully they get here before because they always end up coming after um, but I do have a few things to show you guys because I did get a few review books. Um, and I don't share with you guys the ebooks that I get just because I have way too many ebooks. But I do show you guys the physical books that I get for review. So that is coming for you guys. And um, I think that's it for this video. That was just a, a really quick haul. I wanted to share with you guys what I got. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.